Great job, outstanding. Now we've got our Gmail account set up for ourselves. We went ahead and logged in. And one of the first orders of business we have is to create a new. So we're going to go over here to the left hand side. We are already logged in to Gmail. And we are going to left click where it says Gmail on the arrow itself here. Now go ahead and select contacts from the drop down list. The next order of business is to create a new contact. So we want to select the new contact button. Next up, we want to enter the first and last name in the text input box. So we want to have a space between the first and last name and a capital for the beginning of the, uh, the first letter and the first name and the first letter of the last name. So we'll type in Jane Doe. When we're done, press enter on your keyboard. Once the first and last name is complete, we want to move down to the email input box. Left click on the email input box and we want to enter in the email, which is going to be all lowercase, and it will be janedoe at gmail.com. Now let's move down to the phone input box and we're going to type in 321-444. Dash 555, then press return. Now let's bring our focus to the address input box. We want to type in the address, which is going to be 123 Brown Street, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89117. And now we'll press um, outside of that input box to go ahead and save that information. Once we're finished with that section, you can see that there's other fields down at the bottom, such as birthday, and URL, and if we were to click on the add button, we would see a number of other fields that would populate. We can even add our own custom fields, which is a very nice feature. Uh, over to the right hand side, you'll see an add note. So, so let's say if you met this uh, Jane Doe at a at a function or something of that nature, you can add information about that to uh, you know complement her information over here to the left. Once we have finished adding in all the additional information, we want to move focus our attention over to the arrow pointing to the left, and we want to select that arrow, and that's going to bring us back to the master contact list. Great, now we're back to our master contact list. And that concludes our lesson for adding and managing our contacts. Select that, which is going to lead us back to the master list of all my contacts. And that completes our lesson for adding and managing our contacts.